Greetings, friends. Hi, everybody. How's it's it going? Go Jim and Dave. Beer, beer review. review. We are very calm now. Mm -hmm. Dave, what's on tap with this beer review? Fishtail Ales. Fishtail Mud Shark Porter. Mud Shark Porter. Yep. Well, you know, the mud, if I think about like chocolate cake or something, might be interesting. Shark, eh, why people, this it's is the same thing we know with sharks, but it's fish tails, okay, I'll buy into it. Uh, what can you tell us about this beer, Dave? It says that medium body and robustly flavored, uh, mud shark porter sports a satisfyingly dry finish with rich notes of chocolatey, smooth, dark, and bittersweet cho coca flavors linger on a palate from first pint to last. <clears throat> All right, that was not really smooth there. Yeah, but it was, no it was pretty good for me. Okay. A wonderfully smooth and creamy porter. Mud Shark ranks among the favorites of a special class of aficionados. Aficionados. Yeah, wasn't, didn't we go to school with Eddie Aficionado? <laughs> Eddie Aficionado. <laughs> um, known for their appreciation of fine beer. 5.2% 5, 5 on call by volume. The Mighty Fish Brewers, we assert after a day well spent exploring the great outdoors, a friendly pint explored with barbecue sharp. Oh my goodness. Barbecue sharp. Barbecue sharp cheese. Oh. It just broke off that way. That's fine. Or but or console short or console chocolate. It says in the bottle you should have tasted the one that got away. Yeah. Okay. Well, we like uh, fish brewing of Olympia, Washington. It's got IBUs of thirty six. Help our sustain our weary souls and rejuvenate our tired bodies. If there's anyone watching this that needs to have their entire body rejuvenated, please send us an email. Uh, there you go. Nothing wrong with that. That's it. And, uh, you know, I've been waiting for a, a porter. Well, here we go. We I think we've done many different styles tonight. Uh, it's black, as black as can be. It has a nice uh, uh, tan uh, foamy head here, which would be a finger. Uh, Smells like a porter. Uh, a little sweetness, a little uh, roastiness. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers you out there. Please enjoy one with us as you watch this review. Mm. Okay, so far, except for the first one of the night, because of the alcohol, and it wasn't that good because it was a malt liquor. Best tasting of the night. This is the best tasting of the night. Best tasting of the night. Now, should you perhaps uh, qualify that statement and mention that you are partial to stouts and porters? Yeah, I'm very partial to stouts and porters. So, um, yes, actually, I have to agree with you. This is probably my favorite so far. Well, I don't think I ever try to have the same beer twice in a row. I really do enjoy a good stout. Uh, porters are the second best. And... Uh, if I was going to sit there and drink, say, a six-pack while watching a sporting event, this would definitely be one of the ones I want to try because uh, nice. This is very nice. Um, it's, you know, it's not a complex flavor profile. It is a standard porter. This is really good tasting. This is my favorite beer of the night. So we give it a higher rating and everything oh, else. I, I, give this, I give this a good seven and a half to eight. I give this an eight. Wow. Uh, wow. Yeah. That's a very high rating. Um, I like it a lot. I don't know if I go so far as to say an eight. I'll give it a seven. You give it a seven and a half. You give it a seven and a half. I am, all right, fine. I'll meet you at seven point two five. Do I, do I hear a seven? All right. <laughs> Sold to the lady with the, uh, with the funny hat. Right. <laughs> seven and a half. You give it a seven and a half. 
I do. I give it and a seven. And the bulging. Eight, eight, eight is a little too much. I give it a seven. Yeah, it's not an eight. Yeah, no, I give it. I give it. I was gonna give you some crap about that. I'm glad you you reeled it back. It's seven and a half. It's now what happens is seven. when you try a bunch of different beers and you try one you like, you have a tendency. The to first one of the night we had was a five, only because it did not taste good, but the alcohol content. I like the alcohol content. And I did like the bourbon barrel notes. Yeah. But this one is the best tasting of the night. This is a Porter's Porter. Yeah. If that makes sense. Um, if you like Porter's, you'll really like If you're going to put if, this one in with the first one of the night, this would have been like. I think we should have really mixed good. them. I think that would have been a good thing. Yeah, the one thing we don't do a lot, we have done in the past on the Gym Day Beer Review, is to mix beers. We do yeah. it on the odd occasion when we find something that we that really would like. That would a good idea. Like Tiny and Dirt Wolf. Yeah. We did that once. Wolf Cub. Is that what Joe called it? That's what, that's what it was called. Yeah, it. but he had his own thing. He was just like, you guys got to call what I call it because I invented it. I was like, sorry. I don't know. I just, I just know that it would have been a good thing. Yeah. But anyway, very good porter. I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 just because in, in the porter category, it might be a little higher. In the general, what I like category, I'm going to give it a 7. I give it a 7 and a half. And there you have it. 7 and a half from Dave. He's yeah. a porter guy. 7 from me. I like dark beers too. Yeah. And uh, listen, let's just wrap this one up a little early. We don't have to pontificate any farther. Pontificate. So we'll say that women who are pregnant should not drink alcoholic beverages mm. due to the risk of birth effects. You should not yeah, operate yeah, yeah, heavy yeah, machinery yeah, yeah. if you're under the influence yeah, yeah, of alcohol. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that includes uh, driving a car. Don't drink and drive. Stay yeah. alive. Call Uber if you're at a bar. Okay? Uber. They're relatively cheap. And if you have a smartphone, what the hell's wrong with you? Uber. And uh, what else? Oh, and by the way, drinking too much can cause health problems. And uh, I speak from experience. So, by the way, Dave, the reason we try these different beers is we believe that our viewers out here should drink great beers. And have a good laugh to our friends, too. And we want you to be our friends. So, please subscribe to our channel. We Give us a you. thumbs up, thumbs down. Comment we below. Follow all. us on Twitter, J I M M R E T Jim Red. Call thirty one at C U L L thirty one. And uh, that's about K, all we have to say. K, Thank K. you so much for watching. We do appreciate your time and we your love patience. You all. And if you have any ways you want, we think we can improve our thing other than have other people do it. Give us a. Uh, you know what's shout important out. is what way you think. We care what you think. In so much as we can uh, care. That's right. Sorry, last beer of the night, we're a little yay. Woozy. Cheers, everybody. Cheers. We care about what you think, though. So write anything in the comment section below. Right. Bye-bye, Dave. Bye-bye, Dave.